Hello everyone, I'm Nazareth Fatima. Welcome to Live Law. We all are aware of the eligibility criteria required in examinations, appointments or applying for posts. Education qualifications, physical fitness, height, mental health and other such things are usually considered. However, whether measuring a woman's chest is reasonable and what are the reasons behind conducting this part of the physical examination, let's take a look into how the Rajasthan High Court dealt with it. The Rajasthan High Court in a significant verdict has termed the recruitment eligibility criteria for the Forest Guard post wherein women aspirants are expected to undergo chest measurement test as arbitrary and outrageous and an affront to the dignity of a woman. A bench of Justice Dinesh Mehta was hearing a matter concerning the issue. The court stated that the size of a woman's chest is irrelevant for the purposes of determining her strength. It laid stress on the fact that not only does the criterion of chest measurement appear to be scientifically unfounded, but also immodest. The court said, and I quote, This court cannot but refrain from observing that the respondent's act of setting up chest measurement to be a criterion, particularly for female candidates, is absolutely arbitrary, rather outrageous to say the least. It is a clear dent on a lady's dignity and right of privacy guaranteed under Articles 14 and 21 of the Constitution of India. The court added that the size of the chest and its expansion in the case of a female candidate may not necessarily be a pointer of physical fitness and litmus test of lungs capacity. And even if it be so, such measurement violates the privacy of a female. The court said that apart from being irrational, such criterion also disrupts the dignity, bodily autonomy and mental integrity of a woman. The court was perturbed by the lack of sensitivity on the part of the administrative authorities while formulating the hiring policy or the rules and as such it directed that its order be sent to the Chief Secretary, Secretary of the Forest Department and the Secretary of the Department of Personnel, Government of Rajasthan to have a relook at such criterion or relevant rule. The court also suggested that in order to determine the lung capacity, the government departments should consult opinions by experts to explore the possibility of alternative means so that the unwarranted humiliation to women candidates is avoided. Let's now see what the petition was about. A writ petition was filed by three candidates who sat for the forest guard exam and were rejected on the parameters set by the respondents in relation to chest measurement, though they cleared the physical efficiency or the standard test. The court dismissed their plea on the grounds that they all failed to meet the other parameters set by the respondents. The court said that since the recruitment was over and all the candidates including the petitioners had subjected themselves to such tests, hence it would not disturb the recruitment which has taken place. But at the same time, the bench expressed its shock regarding the parameters laid down by the respondents for ascertaining the physical standards of women candidates. The court said in its order and I quote, Apparently, there was no error in the assessment of the petitioners by the respondents, but this court is unable to come over the shock it got on seeing the parameters laid down by the respondents for ascertaining physical standards of women candidates. The court in its order opined that some deliberation was necessary regarding the parameters set by the recruiting body. The court said that the qualifying criteria were based on incorrect assumptions that having a minimum chest girth would ensure the physical fitness of a woman. It remarked and I quote, The practice adopted apart from lacking any scientific validity is humiliating, derogatory and an affront to a woman's dignity. Considering that a candidate is otherwise required to clear physical efficiency test in which she has to jump 1.35 meters and throw shot put to a distance of 4.5 meters, the condition of minimum chest circumference looks irrational and unwarranted. The court also observed that measuring expansion to determine lung capacity was understandable, but prescribing a minimum chest circumference was absolutely ludicrous on the part of the Forest Department of the State Government. The court mentioned that there are modern tests available, and if the respondents do not wish to resort to such methods, they can well ask the candidates to run for a particular distance as it is being done by the state in police constable recruitments. The court added in the order, one does not see any rhyme or reason behind the criterion in question, particularly for female candidates. That will be all for now. We hope you like our videos. 
We are trying to bring to you unbiased and unaltered version of facts through our videos. If you want us to continue with the work, we'd appreciate if you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and also like and share our videos. We run with your support and you can totally continue doing that by just clicking on the subscribe button. With more subscription, we'll be able to deliver more and more content and we'll also take requests for the kind of content that you like. If you want to read about the news or go through judgments in detail, please visit our website which is www.livelaw.in. Thank you for watching.